Hey everybody, Michael the Tutor 16 here. Today I'm going to be doing tutorial number 17 in Microsoft Excel. And the topics for discussion in this tutorial will be that I'm going to show you how to password protect your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. The advantages of doing this will be that this will allow you to keep your private and confidential data secured so that only you and those who you give the password to will be able to access your spreadsheet. So let's go into Microsoft Excel and I'm going to show you how to password protect your Excel spreadsheet. As you can see, I've gone into Microsoft Excel, and today I'm going to show you how to password protect your Excel worksheet. Let's say that you're working on a file that contains private or confidential data, and you don't want anybody to gain access to this file unless they have the password. To begin the process, go up and click on your File tab in your Ribbon Toolbar, and you'll see all of your options on the left-hand side of your screen, such as Info, New, Open, Save, and all of these other commands listed directly beneath it. Just to the right of all of these commands, you'll see an area that says Protect Workbook. And if you click on the Protect Workbook icon, the second choice within this list will be Encrypt with Password. Highlight it and left click one time. Your encryption document key will be brought up on your screen, and this is where you're going to put your password in. Remember that passwords in all Microsoft Office products are considered case sensitive. And this means that if you use a capital letter anywhere within your password and you enter the password, you save your file and you go out of it, when you go back into your file and you're prompted for your password again, you must use the same capitalization as you did when you first established the password. So make your password difficult enough so somebody can't guess it, but don't make it so difficult that even you'll forget it. So put your cursor in the box where it says password and type in whatever password that you want to use. I'm just going to use five M's. Now I would never use this as my password, but this is just an example for this tutorial. I input my five M's, but the only thing that you'll see will be five dots or five asterisks. And this is called a destructive read. And this is set up so if anybody's looking over your shoulder or if they can view your monitor from across the room while you put your password in, they will not see the actual password itself the only thing that they'll see will be these dots or asterisks. And again, this is called a destructive read. So once I put my password in the first time, I can click on OK, and then it'll prompt me to re-enter my password for verification purposes. So I'm going to re-enter my password. Again, I put my password in, and when I click on OK, the password has been established within the Excel worksheet itself, but it has not been saved. So while you're still in your commands, go down and click on your save icon or your save option one time. Now your password has been established and it's been saved within the Excel worksheet. Now when I get out of my file, when I go back into it, before it opens any part of my Excel worksheet, it'll prompt me for my password. Once I put the password in, I can go back and click on the OK button and now my file should open. So this is how you password protect your Microsoft Excel worksheet. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscription button located at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to me and I'll be more than happy to answer them. I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching.